Hey guys! So it is Tuesday night at 9.30 and I am here to give you a quick update on my own infertility story and just to say hi and what's going on. So really quickly, um, let's see where did I leave off. Last Tuesday I found out last week that I was pregnant so since then I had gone in for another blood work on Wednesday, I found out on Monday, so I came, I went in on Wednesday for more blood work and everything was looking good and today I went in for my first ultrasound, which um, we, were, we were, I was a lot more nervous than I thought I'd be um, with it. And going in, for some reason I thought I would hear the heartbeat today, I was very wrong. And in my, in the past experience I thought I heard the heartbeat this time around, but um, like I said, I was wrong. So this time around, the big thing that they were looking for were is one, the lining of the wall, and if there's a sac. So good news, both those things checked out okay. I actually have a little picture. So that's the little guy there, or girl. It's a little sac. And um, my blood work checked out okay as well. So good news on that. We still have a long ways to go. I'm only, I'm actually only five weeks pregnant, so it's very early on. Um, so we're still being very cautious about everything. Um, the next step is I go again next week for another ultrasound and blood work, and they're just gonna check how it's progressing. And then it's not until the following week where we go in for another ultrasound, and that's when we could hear the heartbeat. And basically, if we hear the heartbeat um, in two weeks, that means we have graduated from the infertility, the fertility uh, center, and we can go ahead and just see a normal OBGYN. So that's a that that will be a big step if um, we get the heartbeat in two weeks. And until then, you know, I'm just going as I am and trying not to be too anxious and overthinking things. It's funny, the first time, the last time I was pregnant, I definitely didn't overthink it as much as I am now. I feel a little bit more nervous for some reason because I just feel like this time might have, it just felt too good, it feels too good to be true. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm staying positive and... What else? What else do I have to say? Um, I don't know, this whole thing, actually journaling it, I will say, well, I've, I've said this before, it's helped me a lot, but it's made me kind of look into things more, more than I had in the past in this whole process. And one of the things, if you're going through this, is the progesterone shots. So a lot of people have been asking me if I'm still taking shots or not, and I am. Um, I've been taking the progesterone shots every night since the transfer and those are by far the worst shots in my opinion they're with, they're with the longest needle and they're in the backside and they're every night and so far I've been taking it for over two weeks I think if not longer and it's gonna be going on until I hear the heartbeat so another two weeks or so so it's four like four to five weeks of progesterone shots and I asked the nurse the other day, or today I should say, because I've heard that you can get progesterone through a patch or kind of more of a pill type of form. And I was like, why are you subjecting us to these injections every night? And she gave me a pretty valid answer, which is, I didn't realize, but they track your progesterone levels. It's a big thing since if you do IVF, they actually puncture your ovaries. So they need to make sure your progesterone levels are in a good place. So the only way they can track it is through your blood work, but if you're doing other things like the pill, you can't track it in your blood work, and the only way they can do that is if you're taking the shots. So that is why IVF patients have the progesterone shots and not you know, the, the tablets that people, other people use if you're doing the IUIs and everything. So I don't know, that's a little random tidbit that I learned today and I thought I'd share because I was, I just thought they wanted to torture us even more. Um, but there is a reason behind it. And other than that, I mean, we're just trying to stay positive. And in the meantime, um, I mentioned before that I'm in the process of 
trying to figure out the best way to um, put some resources together for everyone and I just wanted to let, to let you guys know that's in the works and I am potentially working with other people to do that to make it an even more powerful uh, resource site for women trying to conceive and just to empower women in general. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's all. I don't have that much to say tonight. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And in the meantime, I'll keep you updated. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.